Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to rewrite this. Or sorry, I'm actually going to take the power of 3 over 2 on both sides. And the reason I did this was because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, right? And we want to find a value that when multiplied by 2 over 3 is equal to 1 because we obviously just want to find the value of x, and x is the same thing as x to the power of 1. So we want to make this 2 over 3 into a 1, and to do that, we need to multiply it with another number to make it 1. So that's why I multiplied with 3 over 2, because if you multiply 2 over 3, 3 over 2, these two are reciprocals, so they make 1. So now, because if I have something in form a to the power of n to the power of n is equal to the power of n times n, x to the power of 2 over 3 to the power of 3 over 2, that's x to the power of 2 over 3 times 3 over 2, which is simply 1. And this is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. So I have x equals 16 to the power of 3 over 2, and we actually have to simplify this a little bit. So 16 to the power of 3 over 2, well, 16 is the same thing as 4 squared. So now I have 4 squared to the power of 3 over 2. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of n times n. So this is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2. Now these 2s can simply cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 4 to the power of 3. Now 4, that's the same thing as 2 squared. So now I have x is equal to 2 squared to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3, or sorry, 2 times 3. Is 6 so I have x is equal to 2 to the power of 6 and this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 squared right 2 to the power of 3 is 8 so now I have 8 squared which is equal to 64 so x is equal to 64 and that is my answer All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x minus eight is equal to eight. So to solve this, I obviously want to find x. So for my solution, I'm gonna first start by rewriting four as two squared. So now I have two squared to the power of x minus eight is equal to 8. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x minus 8. And we can think of 2 here as m and x minus 8, the whole thing, as n. So I can rewrite this as a to the power of m times n, or 2, since 2 is a, 2 to the power of x minus 8 times 2, and this is equal to 8. Now, 2 times x minus 8, this is equal to, well, I have to distribute the 2. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. So I have 2 to the power of 2x minus 16 is equal to 8. Now, to solve this, we want to make these two terms the same base. 
Well, right now the bases are two and eight, which aren't the same. So two, this, this is the most simplified it can be, but eight, well, eight, that's the same thing as two to the power of three, right? And if we make, if we turn this into two to the power of three, then both of these terms are gonna have the same base. So I have two to the power of two X minus 16 is equal to two to the power of three. And now these two bases are the same. And now the reason we did that was because if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x minus 16 is equal to 3. So now I have 2x minus 16 is equal to 3, meaning 2x is equal to 19, and x is equal to 19 over 2. All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x is equal to 80. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log 8 to the power of x is equal to log 80. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log a to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 8 is equal to log 80. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 8. These two cancel out. Now I have x is equal to log 80 over log 8. Now log 80, I can write as log 8 times 10. And I have this over log 8. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 8 times 10 is equal to log 8 plus log 10. And I have this over log 8. Now this is the same thing as log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. Now log 8 and log 8, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 8. Log 10, that's equal to 1, so I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 8. Now log 8, I can rewrite as log 2 to the power of 3, and I can move 3 to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3 times log 2. Now log two, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now I have x is equal to one plus one over three times 0 0.301 is 0 0.903. And one over 0 0.903 is 1.0174. Sorry, 1.1074. So this is equal to 